Good day folks. I'm up this whole road here. Today I just thought I'd take a drive up it and uh, check it out just for fun. This is as far as I got. <laughs> because I seen some debris in here so I stopped to check it out. Now I've already been over in here just looking. Lots of metal debris cans and stuff I don't see a whole lot for glass there is some up here but it looks more modern maybe like 60s or 70s but I'm gonna try digging around in it might be something deeper this here is some sort of weird rock foundation stone see what I mean and then further up that way, I've seen uh, another cellar hole. So I don't know if this is something, there might have been a building sitting on top of it, like some sort of oak building or what. But anyways, I'm going to try digging around a bit in it, scraping around, see if anything comes up. i got my metal detector with me as well. So uh, let's get at that. I'll get you up on uh, if I get any significant finds. Well, there's lots of metal debris around here, folks. Barrel rings, wagon rings over there. There's a there's an old saw blade sticking up out of the ground there, but no concentration of glass yet. I'm gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna go back and get my metal detector. I got a nail spill here, folks. They're just all through here. But I got one out right here. It's an oldie. Get focused. Come on. Come on. It's a square nail. I thought it had a rounded head on it, but it doesn't. It's just a piece of rust on it. But that would generally indicate, I think, uh, before the 1900, so... We're in an old spot, that's for sure. Well, I got a little patch here, folks. Started digging around, there's nothing real old. There's one of those great big battery tube pack things there. But right here, I got one of these, just come out. Looks like one of those Alka-Seltzer tubes. There's quite a few of them around here. Um, yeah, right there. Seen that little cork top, looks like a three-in-one oil. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Three and one. Pretty muddy. A little side embossed one. Alright, I'll keep digging around here, see what else comes out. Okay, viewers. I started another hole. This one's a little sandier, a little easier digging. It'll probably cave in easier too, but should be easier digging anyways. I got three bottles shown here. Here's a big amber one, a green one, and another amber one. This one looks like it says Javex. I don't know, maybe I won't even be able to get them out. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's a big Javex with a real small screw top on it. Another screw top, slip green one, blue jerry, and looks like another big Javex. Yep, no embossing on this one though. Okay, well, I'll uh, let you go for now and get you back up if I find anything else. Halfway decent, fo fine folks. It's a Hiram Walker's Whiskey Gates Bottle. They call this the Gates Bottle because uh, obviously there's gates embossed on the front of it. And those are supposed to be the gates to the Hiram Walker headquarters. Pretty cool. Alright, it's even got the original cap on it. Probably from the 40s I'd say. 
Keep going. Got a couple showing right here, folks. Check it out. Cobalt blue. Well, it's not. Oh, it's some boss down here on the bottom here. It's a. Uh, I'm not sure what that says. Oh, for headaches. Bromo seltzer for headaches. And here's one right here. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Big old screw top liquor bottle. No embossing. Machine made. Consumer glass mark on the bottom. Gonna put it after 1917. Alright, well, that's nothing too exciting. Let's keep uh, digging away. Still working away on this hole, folks. Just pop this out here. Nice little find. Looks like her feet are broke off here. Little ornament. Doesn't look like much until I turned it over. I already picked it up and wiped it off. Check it out. 1891. How cool is that? pretty good actually I'm surprised more than her feet aren't broken off but I'll take it home and clean it up right on nice little find so there's a little ornament there folks all cleaned up she got some uh, pretty blue eyes there and there's little nubs all over her dress here that's Got some shininess to them. See that? Her fingers are broke off where she was holding her hat on. And also her feet are missing. But it's still a neat little piece. And uh, there's the date on the base again. 1891. What? For an old little piece? Looks pretty good. All in all. There it is. Okay, viewers, after a lot of digging, this one here just rolled out. No embossing on it, but well down around the heel here, it says uh, contents, eight fluid ounces. It looks to be in pretty good condition. No chips or cracks or anything. I was kind of hoping to find uh, Maybe dig up a poison or, you know, some stoneware or something here. Because I don't think this is a real early section of the dump, but probably more around the 30s and 40s. You never know, you might get some late throwaways. Here's something right here. No, no embossing, a little half pint. Dominion glass, 1949 it looks like. Alright, um, catch you on the next one. Folks, I just checked that previous clip there where I pulled out that uh, little milk and that little uh, half pint amber. In the background, I noticed this <laughs> laying on the ground there. It's a nice, uh, what do they call that, evening in Paris? Perfume vial. Yeah. Still got the lid on it, too. Excellent. Nice little find, yeah. Always like finding these. That blue's always hard to get focused on. Anyways, there it is, yep. Yeah. Onward. Hello, viewers. What we got here is a cobalt blue. Yep, yeah, nice. These ones here are worth a little bit more than just a regular one. These are a bromo sedan. And those, as you can see, are shaped like a soda bottle or whatever. Not sure if I can tell the date off that or not. Might be 1938, possibly. Yep, yeah, don't find many of these ones. They're a nice little find. Okay. I'll take it. Keeper. Alright, folks. It's been quite a while since I got one of these. Check it out. Marble in the hole. Marble in the hole. 
Yes, sir. It just looks like a cleary. Can't tell for sure. Kind of greenish color. We're losing daylight here, so. Yeah. Okay. Cool beans. Happy with that. Okay, folks. This here is a three foot high chunk of granite. It's probably eight inches wide that way. As you can see, tapers down to a wedge shape that way. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can roll this down over the bank. It should be good for a grin. All right, are you ready? Let's give her a shot. <laughs> All right, that didn't go anywhere. One of those little uh, ribbed amber poison bottles just fell out, folks. This one's a uh, Rego glass. There you go. And uh, the rubber squeezer is gone off the top, but the uh, glass part still inside of it. I can get it out. There it is there. So it was probably like eye drops or nose drops or ear drops. Could be anything, really. Nice little find, though. I always like finding those. Okay, folks. First decent find in a while. Right here. Yellow and white marble. Cool. Head on. One up on the marble board. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> 